Hey guys, welcome back to another week working on our new project. This project right here was not on our plans for this year. We have spent the past 18 months living on the road in our home on wheel Olive and she has taken us around 12 different countries. This summer we were meant to be heading to somewhere like Ireland but instead this girl came into our life. This is a Volkswagen Razorback. She used to belong to Chris's dad who was gonna take her to the scrapyard. Chris was not having any of this. He looked at me with his puppy dog eyes and now we're stuck here in Tavistock giving this girl a new life. Here's the keys for it. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Look at the state of it. The journey so far has not been easy. Back to the drawing board. And we still have a long way to go. You won't actually see me in the first part of this video because I was quite poorly. But let's go into Chris showing you how it's done. Hey team! How's it going? This is a huge top hole. Perfect for the job in hand. So just to show you guys the welding I was talking about that needs to be done it is on the big man list. So these brackets in here, these are going to be replaced. I've got some new ones on the way. I've drawn them all up and everything. So I've got to take these bolts off here. There's not actually a bolt left. So it'll be a case of them being cut off. So I'm gonna have to cut all these off, take this one out, weld it along here. I'll weld it back to this bracket, so I'll have to clean this bit of metal up right along here and get a nice MIG weld along there. And then I cannot wait to get all this back to the good metal and give it a good spray. Up here is looking really, really clean. As you can see, this is all galvanized up this end. It's just back here, we're having a bit of oxidization, which is causing the rust. But today's main task is going to be getting rid of this bit here all along here and down here as you can see up through here i have a couple of wires one wire just does all the earth cables and the lights and this one is obviously the hydraulic pipe that needs to be rerouted all the way around the front of the van i don't think i'm gonna have enough pipe with this one so i'll be a case of undoing it taking it off ordering some hydraulic pipe or seeing if we've got any in the workshop i can pinch or buy off my old man and then uh, move forward with that. As you can see I did double tarp it but one of them fell down because we had a lot of rain like I said. Oh my god this is a lot of water. So I'm gonna have to take off this connection here because this is the pipe that goes round all the way up there and then goes to the last one of the rams. So I'm gonna have to reroute that one all the way around along the side, down the back there, all the way back down the other side, back to the top of the ram. So. I think I'm going to need some more pipe. Boom, yeah, that's right. Floor goes down. A nice and easy walk on now. But yeah, I need to get rid of these rusty patches today. So let's do that. So right now I am in a bit of a predicament. This definitely needs to be replaced. This is um, 100 by 50 by three mil box section. I can get hold of some really easily. So I have rivets going in here, 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 and here. I also have rivets going in the other side as well, but I just can't see it just that being held together. So I think it must also be welded to something else. The only way for me to find out is to actually cut the rivets off knock the plate off and ultimately just see what gives. I think that is all I can actually do. 
I'll go get my safety glasses on first. Right, we've come this far. There's no point getting scared now, is there? You just gotta start cutting some bits off. Let's do it. <laughs> So that's the main eight rivets taken out. I've just now got to take another two out of here. One's up here, which is going to be a pain in the ass, and one down here somewhere. And then this side should technically be free. Getting a little bit ahead of myself. I have to actually get the wires out before I can actually remove it fully because they're actually in the way and I have to undo the lights and things like that. But we're nearly there team. It was just as easy as I thought it was going to be, which is amazing. I'm just about to take the hydraulic pipe off this ram here. I'm gonna take the top one off here. Then I should be able to feed it out through this box section. I'm gonna to have to do the same with the wires, get them all fed out. And then this back end will finally be coming off but this could be a really tough move and I don't know what the oil is going to do or anything. So, is it going to be a lefty Lucy? Oh, sugar mama. It's a lefty, all right. Is all this. Okay, so you think about it. To put that down, all that fluid's going to have to be pushed into there. So we could have a lot leaking out, actually. Oh my God, this could go everywhere. I might even put the glass in. This could go, this could go really messy or it could. Just watch out, oil doesn't go everywhere, right? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, that was an anti-climax. Nothing happened. <laughs> what an anti-climax that was. I was like, I'm going to get tons of oil seeping out everywhere. Absolutely. I'll call that. Wow, that's, that's good news though, isn't it? Come on, let's, let's be positive. That's good. Star. Now the electrical bits. No one likes doing the electrics. Especially not me. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. We now officially have a pickup truck that looks cool. Oh my God, I can't believe how easy that was to get out. I am buzzing with that. Buzzing. This is the door I've just put in place. So this is the one that we're going to cut down probably along that line right there. Cut the top off it. Two massive hinges there and there. Going through our box section we're going to fit and it'll be like ka-ching, ka-chong, ka-ching, ka-chong. But yeah, that's the plan team. But enough is enough for today. We've had a good day. We've done a lot. I'm feeling good. Got the material on order. We go again tomorrow. And we are back. We have another beautiful sunny day. I'm just telling you that we are in the UK. So every time I mention a sunny day, I really am grateful because we don't actually get too many, even though it is August. But as you can see, I have the big man list out and I'm ready to tick off the first bit I did yesterday. So cut off back. Boom, boom, boom. That's done. Rewire the cables. Didn't actually get around to doing that. Refiber glass, can't do that. Clean interior, MOT, lights, welding, under seal, treat all of our rust, fix roof, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I think the next job for me to work on will be to, uh, what am I gonna do? Ooh. First job today, have a look at repairing this ramp. This right here is the part that leaks on the ram. So I'm going to try and get some of this stuff off. Uh, obviously a lot of high pressure comes through this. So try and get this off. And if I can't fix this one, I'm going to have to fit a new one on, which shouldn't be too bad. Two bolts up there, two bolts underneath here. That's going to be the hardest part, actually removing it from the plate that lifts the floor up and down because I don't know how rounded that bolt's going to be. I've peeled off all of that old gunky stuff that was on there and now I'm going to give it a good rub down, clean it all off and find out where this little hole is. It's only going to be a little pinprick or something like that. And then what I'm going to do is find a way 
of sealing it back up. There must be a product out there that I can use to put on there, even if it's like some um, welding filament or something like that. That's the plan now. So I'm just gonna give it a good clean off, find the little pinprick of a hole, and then we'll start dealing with it. Whoa, there's two leaks. Can you see them, team? Are you ready for this? This is where they are leaking to. I've just been into the workshop and I have found this metal weld. So it's called JB Weld. It's got a steel and it's got a hardener with it. So I've just applied some of that to the ram. Now there, it takes four to six hours to set and take off. So what I'll have to do is I will leave that to cure overnight. I'll try it in the morning. And then if we still have any leaks, I'll have to probably apply some more of this again and just keep building it up layer by layer until we are leak proof. After sealing up the ram, I thought I've got to come on to something else. It's such a nice day. I can't just sit and chill. Got to get some stuff done. So I'm going to try and get rid of this old floor because I'm going to replace it with some checker plate. If for any of you guys who don't know what checker plate is, this is what checker plate looks like. Extra grippy, aluminium, about four mil thick, and that'll go in there, lush. And then that'll run all the way in there. Might even put some up here so it looks cool. But to get this floor up, I literally think, again, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten rivets holding it in. Take them out, and the floor should start to peel up. Peel, 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 and get it out and see how bad the actual flooring is underneath it. Hey team! I'm so sorry that I've not been around, but I've been suffering with an abscess on my face for the last few days. It's been extremely painful and trust me, this is it actually looking good. It is starting to heal now, but it was quite a lot bigger. This side of my face was swollen. Wasn't really feeling it by picking up the camera. So I've been letting Chris crack on with this van, but he's just getting this floor up now. God knows what it's gonna be like when it comes off, what it is actually like underneath it. It's been really wet recently. And even though we've been putting tarpaulin on the top, the water's still been getting through. So it'd be interesting to see what kind of damage is underneath. Do you reckon, babe? It's gonna be okay. I think. Just now, gonna try and pry this out. Cause I have no idea how the rest of this is held on. Ah, oh, it's literally just stuck down. This is proving to be an absolute pain in the arse. Nothing comes easy, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Good afternoon. I wanna say good morning, but it's not the morning. It's about three o'clock and we're really starting to get productive now. It's been a bit of a slow start. Been to the gym, we cooked a lovely lunch. I don't wanna say it, but it's like a bit too hot today. Like. In England, we just get different ends of the spectrum. It's either soaking wet or it's too hot for us to manage. We need a nice little in-between sometimes, don't we? But we are loving this dry weather and we just need to put our man pants on and sweat it out. Chris has been finishing off getting the flooring out today. I know he's worked super hard on getting that one out, but it's all out, which is amazing. And now we're gonna work on the front cab because it is disgusting in there. I've just opened the windows and opened the doors and because it's so hot, the smell of must and everything is awful and all over the ceiling is dirty and there's like one corner of mold. So we're really gonna start scrubbing it. Seeing as we've got such lovely weather, we're gonna get that all nice and clean and freshened up. And we also have that crazy list to tick off. Okay, let's go and do the front. Look at that. It's not actually leaking that bad, so I'm not actually sure where it's coming in. It's no? So we're not sure whether there's some like water that's been coming in here. So Chris is going to take this whole liner off and see if there's like a leak we need to deal with somewhere. 
um, and make sure there's no underlying rust anywhere. We're looking for every piece of rust on her because she is going to be brand spanking new if I haven't said it before by the time we finish. We're also going to be taking out the floor mat because we want to see what it's like underneath the floor in there and I'm going to give that a really good scrub whilst it's out and see just what the condition of the flooring is. Talk and about a big strip down isn't it? We're literally stripping everything off this van. We really are aren't we? We're just going to have to remember where it all goes when we put it back together. That's true. What do we think Fletch? Hmm? Do you want to keep this van? Oh no. See? You agree with me. You prefer Olive. This one has got to go. Mm, doesn't have to. Tell everyone your dreams. I was thinking we could use this to actually pull along like our jet skis or our boat or like something like that. How cool would that be? Our boat's going to be a lot bigger than this. Like it's not going to be towable boats. We're going to have a massive boat guys. But it could be good just for like transporting tough stuff to and fro because very rarely is there ever going to be time it's just more than me and you so what are you saying i'm not gonna lie there is a part of me that i know by the time we've done all of this hard work and we paint her up looking amazing like she is just going to be so beautiful and i think like her rarity and just how there's not many of these around like is that really something we want to let go of do we want to nope. keep it for ourselves nope. but then i think well our life right now is traveling around in olive we got our incredible norway trip coming up and she would just be sat here rotting waiting for us no you'd get people to use her wouldn't you you'd rent her out things like that you like guys what would you do would you keep her or would you sell her so I'm going to use this Dr. Beckman stuff because I used it on the seats inside the van and they came up amazing. Not a so sponsor. So it's like a carpet stain remover, it's really good. So I'm going to scrub that mould, get it off, give it a good clean, put it in the sun, let it dry and we can put it back in. Momentum of truth. Is it going to leak? Back ones are, the front ones aren't, are they? We're leaking though. We have a leak still, which is not great. Not what I wanted to see from that bad boy right there. I actually haven't got a Scooby. I don't know what to do really don't know what to do. I thought that stuff would have held it. We're gonna have to try something else team. We're gonna have to try something else. Back to the drawing board. So we have given it all a good wipe down in here. We've got it a good clean off and everything. We have got the flooring back in as you can see. Give it all a good wash. The mat's looking really nice. We have to put that lovely clean headliner back in. All the sides on. The handles that go up here. But yeah, all in all, it's looking and smelling good. Good morning. I'm so sorry I'm late to the party. I've had such a busy morning. I've been making us pancakes. I've been doing all the dishes making us coffees. Good morning. Getting on. You got your overalls on. No, she no, should you're... have, Chris. Only just starting, really. Don't know what she's been doing. Oh. What time do you call this? It's only 12 o'clock, really. You're only just starting. Tell her, Chris. I've been busy. Her. I've been making pancakes. Shut up. I made the pancakes. Doing coffees. I made the coffees. Doing the dishes. I did the dishes. She's done nothing, Chris. She's done nothing. Say hello to the vlog, Mum. Hello. Sorry about that, team. As I was saying, I've been so busy, but I am so ready to crack on. You have done nothing all morning. If we're being really honest, we've been procrastinating on this van build for the last week. Hence why there was no video last Sunday. That we've just 
been procrastinating team i think it's just all caught up with us we've suddenly realized just what a massive project this is we're not ticking off many things off our list and we're like okay but today we're gonna crack on i've been really busy this morning actually trying to look for somewhere nice for chris's birthday he Which is, is really important right now he is turning 31 in two weeks time and the pressure's on because if you guys have been here this time last year i booked an incredible house for his 30th and invited our friends and family to come and join us um so yeah i've set the bar too high really i don't expect that for my 30th 31st yeah but we've set the bar now this is how we live we live in a van and we need to treat ourselves okay well that weren't great we just turned the engine on and then the motor of the hydraulic floor started smoking it's fine but it's all right chris says <laughs> it's all right we had to move that big pile of mud that we basically had scraped off the van because Fletcher keeps using it as a bed and literally keeps going and falling asleep on it. So now we've got the mud out of the way. Let's get this interior back together and then look at what other jobs we're going to be ticking off today. One side is complete team. I've managed to get that side in looking nice. All screwed back in nice and tight. I hate working with plastics on the interiors of vans. It is not nice and you're always worried about splitting it, something like that. But yeah, that side's gone in all right. I'll finish off doing this side now. Hopefully it'll go just as well. And then- Excuse me. We don't say hopefully in this house. So when this goes to plan, I'll be then moving on to Recovering the gear stick, the handbrake plastics, fixing all it all back up in here, looking nice. And then once this interior is done, I can concentrate on the back end where I know best, and I can leave this bit to Sam, make it all look nice, clean it all up, and should be good to go. This van's gonna be amazing. <laughs> When we start working on her, I fall in love with her again. I know. It's just when you stop and you start thinking about it and you think about everything you got done. But once we're like geared up and ready to go, yeah, she's gonna be incredible. It's just the overwhelming of it all, isn't it? It is, yeah. But once you get going on it, you actually realise that it's not too bad. It's not that much to do. No, you just gotta take it step by step as well, mm. and you'll be alright. But look how green she still is. I thought I'd already like Oh, she's going to need a lot of... Give yeah. an arrow facelift, but she's still got... Are you going to do these wing rows? you going to paint all these up soon? Yeah. Nice. That's what I thought. Sounds good. Sound good? Sounds good. I've just ordered her some new seat covers as well, so they're coming tomorrow. Brand new seats in there. She's getting more treatment than Olive right now, oh, aren't no. you? Olive, we love you, and it's your turn next. Okay, I'm going to drive this thing. Um... She's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. Let's take this one out now. I don't need to hold the roof up anymore. Oh my god, there's a spider drop down. Can you leave, buddy? Thank you. Jesus. Okay, so I'm just driving backwards, yeah? Okay. I'm driving her. Oh, bloody hell, the seat just moved. I actually want to keep her. Awesome. Leave her here? Leave her here. She drives great. She feels good. She should act like a T4, isn't she? She feels really good. Exactly like the T4. Really good. She's going to look amazing. So. We've cleaned up in here. Next job is to really clean down the doors. Hello, buddy. Really clean down these doors because they're still green. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to get in here and do all the scrubbing because this dashboard has seen better days. I've even brought her a nice new air freshener, given her a nice little treat. And yeah, 
should be good as new. Team, that is it for this week's video. What a week. I'm gonna grab Chris now and we're gonna find out if we've actually ticked anything else off this list. Tools down, babes. Tools down, let's go through this. What a week. What a week it has been, team. God, she is finally starting to look like a pickup now though, which is great. All the exciting stuff is starting to happen now. We have cut the back off. As I've shown you guys, that's even gonna get a green tick as well, because we have cut the back off. She is officially a pickup truck. <laughs> What else have we done? Rewire cables, not yet. Fiberglass, no. Clean interior, yes! We've cleaned the interior! We actually ripped the interior right out to do that. Uh, MOT, uh uh. Lights, no. Welding, no. No. Under seal, no. Treat rust, no. Uh, we've treated bits of rust as we've gone. But that's not a full ticket yet because <laughs> there's a lot of rust on her. Fixed roof leak, no. New wheels, no. Spray up wing mirror, no. Replace repair ram, we yes! Have. As you saw in this week's video, the ram was leaking after I put that first layer of compound on. I cleaned it right up. I put a couple more layers of that compound on. I rang a couple of hydraulic companies and they said that is the best thing to do for this situation because putting a new one on this old girl would just be too big a job. So they said that was more than adequate. So I'm buzzing with that and that is fixed. So that's is another tick. Green tickage. And I think we're not painting her Paint anytime soon. Rear discs, no. Paint calipers, no. Windscreen wipers, no. Brake pipes, no. Back doors, no. Order check plate. We have actually ordered it. It is on its so way. So I think we could tick that. So team, we have ticked a few more off this big van list. I have a feeling we've got a couple more bits we need to add to that list I as think well. there's going to be quite a bit as we go along <laughs> to add to this as list. As we've gone on. But I am so proud of us and yeah as you can see in this video we are starting to have dilemmas on what to do with her so let us know what you think i've just drawn on you sorry she's got a big green dot in her arm though. lovely job <laughs> <laughs> what emoji should we go for this week emoji this week should be <sighs> let's go with the sunshine emoji because we need some nice sunshine now to get her finished. And filming this as we speak, we are due to have four, maybe five, even six days of really sunny weather. So next week video, God, you guys are in for such a wicked week. This van is gonna actually look amazing. We're gonna get so much done. We've got some new bits to go on her. So next week, guys, tune in, because it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be an interesting one. Thank you so much for being here, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya!